fine so let me take a few examples that will elaborate upon the fundamentals or the mechanism of Williamson synthesis okay all right uh, let me take up a question okay so let's suppose you need to prepare you need to prepare this ether so they're assuming there are h at all needed positions you need to prepare this ether no now uh, what reagents would you like to use all right so i would uh, suggest you to pause the video for a sec and uh, try this question on your own <clears throat> all right so moving on to the solution of this problem i suppose each one of you has either tried one of these right either you would have written ch3 ch3 x ch3 plus n a o ch2 ch3 or you would have taken ch3 c ch3 c o minus n a plus plus x ch2 ch3 okay now both of them cannot be true all right as you saw that williamson synthesis is governed by substitution nucleophilic reactions and that to sn1 now you need to recapitulate your uh, ideas your knowledge about sn1 and sn2 if you haven't read sn1 sn2 or either you have forgotten i would suggest you to go back to the lecture where sn1 and sn2 have been taught have a glance on it and then come back to the problem all right so by the knowledge of sn1 and sn2 we know that if the substrate or if the if the substrate has a it, it is it is very difficult to substitute a nucleophile on a 3 degree substrate substrate or a 3 degree alkyl halide if it is an sn2 reaction all right so as williamson synthesis is undergoing an sn2 reaction i suppose i wrote sn2 over there if by mistake i have written sn1 uh, please pardon me williamson synthesis is an sn2 reaction to be very sure um, i might have misspelled and wrote sn1 maybe i do not know please scroll back and see if, if i have written it correct or not williamson synthesis is an sn2 reaction it is mostly it is favored based on one degree greater than two degree greater than three degree all right so in this case if we take this as our starting product which is the substrate if we take this as our substrate this won't favor a williamson synthesis reaction why because this is a three degree substrate is a three degree alkyl halide all right so sn1 is not favor sn2 sorry is not favored in case of three degree uh three degree al um, alkyl halides right the product that we get in this case is an alkyne um sorry is an alkene we get this as the product if the three degree al uh, alkyl halide reacts with the sodium salt of thiol alcohol we get two methyl propene but when this the when alkyl halide of uh, when ethyl halide reacts with the sodium salt of this three degree alcohol we get a desired product that is this all right so please keep in mind that whenever you need to uh, generate or whenever you need to produce an ether like this 
which involves the discretion between selecting an al a 3 degree alkyl halide or a 3 degree sodium salt of an alcohol, please keep in mind that 3 degree alkyl halide leads to uh, elimination product rather than substitution product and the thing and the product that we get is an alkene rather than ethers all right so we always prefer we always use a uh, 3 degree sodium salt of the sodium salt of a 3 degree alcohol rather than using the al 3 degree alkyl halide all right so i hope you will keep this in mind this is the only tricky step that is involved in um, Williamson synthesis rest the Williamson synthesis is very simple all right so moving on the second reaction that is used in the production of ethers is alkoxy mercuration alkoxy mercuration and demercuration Right. So, I hope you remember a reaction called oxymercuration, demercuration, oxymercuration, demercuration. This was taught in one of my previous lectures when I was uh, teaching you guys the ways of or uh, the methods of preparation of alcohols. All right. So, it was acronymed as OMD. All right. If you do not remember this reaction, I would again suggest you to go back to the um, lectures, uh, lecture when, where I taught uh, oxymercuration demercuration because this is going to be very helpful in alkoxymercuration demercuration. I am not going to repeat the entire process of alkoxymercuration demercuration because this the whole reaction mechanism that is followed in AMD alkoxymercuration demercuration is the same as I taught in the case of OMD oxymercuration demercuration. The only difference is that in oxymercuration demercuration the oxymercuration demercuration reaction is used for the preparation of alcohols uh, while alkoxymercuration demercuration is used in the preparation of uh, ethers. All right. So let me just quickly write down the general. Um, formula for or the general reaction for alkoxy mercuration demercuration we have a general alkene we have an alcohol and okay so we are left with Okay, followed by a reducing agent NaBH4. So we are left with an H and an OR. The only major difference between al uh, alkoxy mercuration, demercuration, and oxymercuration, demercuration is the use of alcohol. In oxymercuration, demercuration, we used water. In AMD, we are using alcohol. This is the only difference. In this case, OR is being attached OR and this whole HG salt is being attached to the double bond while in the case of OMD OH and this uh, mercury salt was being at attached to the double bond all right this reaction the demercuration reaction is exactly the same we give NaBH4 that is a reducing agent this whole so uh, mercury salt is reduced and we are left with a ether all right I hope you you have recapitulated until by now what was happening in OMD and what is happening in AMD. These two are very similar. All right. So.